this week to my witness three key appointments zenye kwangu kwa pande yangu ningesema ni very crucial for the running of this country ya kwanza ilikuwa kupitishwa kwa jina la bishop oginde kama chairperson wa ESCC Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission ECIT ilikuwa kitambo imekaliwa na mtu anaitwa Eliud Wabukala former Anglican bishop Sasa sorry ni hivi mtu wangu ESCC mimi tujaifika penye tunaweza sema ECC inafanya kazi yake kwa sababu bado Kenya inaporwa na hizi kesi huwa ziendi pahali. Yeah. Now, wakati eh, Bishop Elid Obukala aliwekwa pale, najua alikuwa alikuwa ametolewa kutoka kwa church, kwanza mainstream church ya eh, Anglican, akapelekwa kuwa the akakuwa chairman wa ESCC. Nilidhani kutakuwa na changes kubwa sana kwa sababu hakujawahi kuwa na ile goodwill ya ku fight corruption ni Kenya. Eh? Now ilifika place mpaka sasa DCI akaanza kuwa ni kama wana compete na ESCC. Now ikafika place sasa ikakuwa ni vita between DCI na ESCC mwenye atafika mapema aonekane anafanya kazi. <laughs> Now this time around uh, but they, uh, I, I, felt, I really felt disappointed kwa sababu si kuona what really happened na ESCC wakati Elido Bukala alikuwa pale for six years. Nao, sasa saizi President Ruto ametoka kutoka kwa mainstream churches, ameingia kwa evangelical churches. Waone kama watatoboi story. Nao, Bishop Oginde mimi namtambua sana. Kai kwa mtu najuaga akiongea unasikia ana make sense ni Oginde. Uh, kwa wenye wamekuwa kimfuata kuna wakati alikuwa bishop. I think he's still the bishop wa Sitam church. Now, kama kwa mtu najua utaye msikia na yeye waongea vitu venye ziko ni Bishop Oginde. Now, kama uliyesikiza um, program fulani alikuwa anakuja uh, Hope FM, ni jamaa akiongea you have to listen. Ile wisdom iko na jamaa ni kubwa sana. Now, lakini sasa mtu wangu penye ameingia <laughs> eh? na namuombea tu Mungu kwa sababu hasa ndio hasa atapata sasa mtihani eh? kwa sababu mtu wangu ku deal na corruption Kenya <laughs> sort a joke what are you to hope mimi namuombea tu Mungu kwa sababu bede ana deserve that guy akiweza kuwa akibenye uongea akiweza kuwa too serious hivyo aingie kwa ECC na afanye kazi yake do you know there some countries ECC ya hizo country iki, iki kusema tu ni wewe mtu wangu ikikohoa tu hivi kila mtu lazima atii utasikia at hiyo country ikiporwa venye Kenya uporwa it's time by the way to have a serious ESCC na tuone penye tutaenda the next appointment nilifanywa ni deputy governor wa central bank mwenye atabeto ata deputies njoroge ule 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 central bank na u madam anaitwa Susan Jemutai Koech Susan Chebuta iko H. <laughs> Mimi nikiangalia bende amehitimu naona ako sawa ile experience ako nayo ya, ya banking sector ni kubwa sana. Nao mimi si jinko anel chaguliwa but ni win win at least for women wacha tuone kwa sababu mimi nashuku itafika time yeye atakuwa governor wa Central Bank. Atawacha kuwa deputy akuwa siku moja governor na Kenya tujai kuwa na governor mwanamke anaran central bank now kulingana na zile ECB yake ben nimeiona um um, um madam anaenda fa wacha tumpate tu benefit of doubt <laughs> kwa sababu sasa hatuna <laughs> option eh mtu wangu eh hapa tutabaki tumeti eh Susan Jemutai Koech ule mwingine amechaguliwa ni captain William Ruto <laughs> Captain William Ruto ndiye sasa atakuwa MD Managing Director wa Kenya Ports Authority Now mwenye anajua Kenya vizuri 
kama kuna prastato inakuwa na siasa ni Kenya Ports Authority <laughs> Kenya Ports and Authority inakuwa inakuwa na siasa kwa sababu ile pesa upitia pale on a daily basis ile pesa inaletea country ni pesa mob sana eh inakuwa pesa mob sana na penye kuna pesa mob trust me kuna na interest nyingi sana eh by the way before ujamaa chaguliwe kulikuwa na jamaa alikuwa amechukua place ya Daniel Manduku sasa hizi yeye ndio MP huko coast tu kwa sababu Daniel Manduku alipigwa akapigwa na maneno kwa sababu in any case pale kuna na interest lazima uteki ya rof eh kuna watu wako pale wanataka kuingiza maybe vitu zao wataki kulipa ushuru maybe wataka kufanya vitu zao vituko vituko lazima utii ukienda uko pale serious hizo <laughs> forces hizo na kulima kukulima eh? sasa this guy naona is the current Kisumu port general manager na na kwa wanasema ako na 32 year experience kwa marine eh? na ni captain eh? William Ruto <laughs> man kuna vile niwaambiaga mtu wangu eh hii Kenya lazima kwanza ujue present ni nani no mimi sisi tama sisi ama ti kwa hizi Susan Jemutai Koech na captain William Ruto our deserve mimi najua ikiangalia CV zao wenyewe kwa sababu hata nilena juzi Um, wafanyikazi wa Kenya Ports Authority walifurahia sana kwa kuchaguliwa kwa Captain William Ruto. <laughs> Now, sasa je kama hiyo kufurahia ili kwa stage managed eh, any, any public ipate confidence na ule jamaa anaingia hapo. Na mimi na sinasema nini? Ah watu wote wamepata hizi kazi, wacha tuone kazi yenu. Let us prove us wrong at mleko pale by merit. Eh, mkifanya kazi hakuna matashughulika na nyinyi kwa sababu ni vizuri mfanyia watu kazi kutoka kwa bishop Oginde Susan Jemutai Koech na Captain William Ruto I wish you all the best and I hope mtafanya kazi poa Asante